to Angie. Would you please share with me a little bit about soy? Some people are afraid that it leads to man boobs and cancer, and then other people think that it's fine to have all day, every day. Could you give me some, some of your intake on this one? Sure, I would love to. Poor soy. I mean, <laughs> how does this poor little vegetable get such a bad rap? Oh my god. I think it's because I mean, it's high in protein and somebody I wants think to put so, it down. I think someone's <laughs> willing to sabotage. <laughs> Anyhow, so let's talk about soy. Soy is one of nature's best foods ever. And you know, people oftentimes throw around the word, word superfood. I mean, if you mm -hmm. want to talk about superfoods, let's come, let's put soy there because mm -hmm. soy has all of the essential amino acids, one main So need. it's a complete protein. Complete protein. Okay. And also, just like other vegetables, it mm -hmm. contains phytoestrogens. Mm -hmm. Okay, phytoestrogens are not mammalian estrogens. A lot of people um, went around, well, there's a group that formed previously and wanted to bring the meat and dairy cells up mm -hmm. and bring the soy cells down. Mm -hmm. And these, this special interest group basically started propagating bad information that was non-scientific. Let me remind you, mm -hmm. it was non-scientific that soy has um, estrogen. Now, estrogen comes from mammals like human beings and, you know, cows. Um, phytoestrogens are in plants and in mm. fact not only are these uh, chemicals not um, you know uh, pro carcinogenic mm -hmm. they're actually um, protective against cancer mm. so they've done studies on that they did um, a couple of studies actually in regards to breast cancer and they actually gave women who had a previous uh, you know uh, previous breast cancer or the ones who were in remission and they gave these women um, uh, soy and mm -hmm. this other group, same type of uh, setup, group A, group B, one group got the soy, one group didn't. Mm -hmm. Guess who did the who, who did better and had less risk of cancer or recurrence was the group that mm -hmm. got soy. So perhaps um, soy phyto, phytoestrogens, because of their antioxidant activity, they are um, anti-carcinogenic mm -hmm. or, um, you know, they're, they're health promoting, or perhaps they compete with the same receptors as the mammalian estrogen where they're protective. Either way, soy is good for you. And by the way, the claim that soy causes um, gynecomastia is absolutely wrong. The same reason why it doesn't cause cancer um, in, in females because it doesn't hit the estrogen receptors in the breast. The same thing, it does not cause gy gynecomastia because it's really not hitting the estrogen receptors in the breasts of men either. So uh, pretty much it's safe um, in both males and females. And by the way, um, this is how um, unfair this is because Soy is not the only vegetable with phytoestrogens, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to avoid soy, then you have to avoid lentils and rice and a few other... Even rice? Even rice, oh, wow. yeah. So every plant has phytoestrogens. Some have a little higher levels mm -hmm. and some have a little lower, mm -hmm. lower levels. But regardless, it doesn't matter. Um, if you, you know, it, it's just, for some reason, the only vegetable that got the bad rap is soy, but the important thing is, don't worry about it. It's based on basic, basically it's a fallacy. It's, so it's fake it's, news. It's fake news. <laughs> Love that. But what is the thing you were telling me about soy and beer? Like if you want to give up soy, then you may as well give up beer because there's oh, more. Oh yeah, they're, they're, absolutely. I mean, there's phytoestrogens in everything. I mean, mm -hmm. you just you and, and you know the the funny thing is though that people will um, drink milk. Mm -hmm. Okay, talk about estrogen. So gross. Estrogen. It's, it's you, I mean, animal products have estrogen because a cow that was a mammal. That actually came from a breast. Yeah, yeah exactly, so, exactly. So then, you know, if you're not eating soy, then you better not eat animal products at all either, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, the, the important thing is look at the science and make it a sound decision. Mm -hmm. Well, that's perfect. Thank you so much. And then Pleasure. it was interesting that you said when you're looking at the science, look at who wrote the article. Because if yes. it was written by the dairy industry, yes. then they may be swayed Absolutely. in a certain direction. Absolutely. Exactly. That's very important. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks so much for explaining that to me. My it makes pleasure. a lot more sense now. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you.